So we're going to source some jewellery. Okay, this cargo is about to move out. But not if we've got something to do with it. These guys have a bunch of crates ready to go on a rooftop. Take the chopper, uh. land just down from where they are, then take them out and search the crates for what we need. Or better, blow up the crates yourself while you're safe, and then just land to take the crate you need. Now, I, I could do this on my Oppressor Mark II, but I actually like using the helicopters and the planes for these kinds of missions. The Sea Sparrow again works pretty well for this mission because <clears throat> I can spam in missiles while being reasonably safe to gunfire. They will be able to shoot at me, but I will be able to hit them faster and harder. Then when I reveal the crate that has the, uh, or the, the shipment that has the crate I want, I may have to hop out briefly to grab it and hop back into the helicopter, but not a huge deal. So they're usually on this rooftop that has a pool or something. Someone shouting at me still. There's the crate. Okay. So what I like to do... Is just... Pause on that bit of roof. Grab the crate. Enemy chopper's already on the way in. And we're on our way. Less than five minutes into the mission, we have our crate and we're on our way back. couple of buzzards back there somewhere. There they are, just one anyway. 
not going to cause me any problems. There's the other one. See, I took a few bullet holes on the front of the Sea Sparrow, but nothing of any concern. And by the way, you can put any colour scheme you want on this helicopter. I've got the orange skids and the green body. Um, orange floats, I guess you could call them, because they do float. But you can put any colour scheme. Body is one and floats is another. If I land here, that also means my plane's going to get refreshed, or my helicopter's going to get refreshed. Of any damage I did to it. Job done. Just waiting for Ron to have his say. Here's all the crates I've been collecting, by the way. You can see art and antiques. That's how it's done. It's such a pleasure to be working in a professional outfit. Finally. Please don't hurt me. Here we go for another one.